It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Washington Commanders, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us a dozen miles east of the National Mall at the home of the Commanders here in Landover, Maryland. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is one that the defensive coordinators have had a long week because these quarterbacks, you can prepare and prepare for them, but because of their legs, you never know what they're going to do. Yeah, when the play breaks down, I think that's where the real fun begins. I mean, it is just so hard. You mentioned it. These defensive coordinators, they spend all week, and every time the ball is snapped, you really have to defend two plays. And what I mean is you defend the initial play that is called by the offense in the huddle, and then you also have to defend the scramble play, the breakdown, the improv. That's what makes these quarterbacks so dangerous. And it just takes one breakdown defensively for a big play, and it's six. On the return, here comes court Daryl Patterson. And a solid one back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Steelers led out by their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade couple of years with the Broncos, and now Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. At one point, this guy was one of the top superstars in the entire league, and I don't think he's fallen as far from that as people want to imagine. This is still a winning quarterback in the NFL, and historically, what's been a very dynamic dual-threat approach in his game has turned to more of a passing style as he's gotten older. But if he puts together one of those vintage performances we've seen over the years, He's going to be a hard one to beat. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Well, it's hard to imagine starting a game much better than that. Great play design. You can tell all week. They love that play to start the game. And, man, you can see why. They'll come up here first and 10. with Harris. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game. A couple nice big explosive runs. Expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds. On first down, right back to Harris. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Every team in the NFL wishes to come into each week's game and win the line of scrimmage battle. And in this case, I think it's pretty clear which side is winning. Great first drive, primarily on the ground. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Right side, it's Fryer move. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. That's the former Ram and Falcon, Van Jefferson. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. Here's second and six. Out of the gun, here's Russ. To the outside. Catch me by Pickett. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down. But they are set up with first and goal. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. Powering forward. He's in. Najee Harris. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. 
exactly the way they scripted this one. A beautiful opening drive, Greg, able to find the end zone on the game's first possession. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution, and that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm, and that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. Chris Boswell, armed for the point after. It's up and good. And the Steelers will take a 7-0 lead. the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it, he is far from one-dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Daniel's gonna keep this himself. And some good running there. That's a first down up to the 43. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, Daniel. Oh, they're on him in a flat. But this is taken in by a teammate. Now, after that near turnover, clock is stopped. We have an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap third and long and here's Daniels they'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete so defensively there's always the initial pass coverage plan and then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man -man. and it's exactly what they did here and there was nowhere for the ball to go and he's forced to just throw it away now fair catch called and he's going to take it out beyond the 25 yard line the Steelers offense going to take over now for the second time they lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive so try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10 
They'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Now Wilson on first down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live the play another down. He'll try again here, second and ten. A give, and here comes Harris. And he'll get this across midfield as he's brought down, following a pickup of five. Here now, third and five. Throwing is Wilson. In trouble, and down he goes. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, and now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Here's the replacement for Cameron Johnston. Corliss Waitman on to punt. Alameda Zacchaeus deep to return. Turn forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. The commander's offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Slot man in motion left. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. This one intercepted. Picked off by Mika Fitzpatrick. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. To these young rookie quarterbacks, every snap in the NFL is an opportunity to have a lesson learned. And sometimes the lessons come a little bit harder than others. In this case, they kind of fool them with their blitz package. It's a little bit more complex at the NFL level than it is necessarily in college. And I think he just got a firsthand taste of just how fast this pressure can get on you. And sometimes when it speeds up that clock, you can make a bad throw. the huddle coming up now for first and ten give up the middle to Harris stays hard to come by there tackle made right around the 40 yard line second down and eight A whistle. Looks like there was movement on the left side of that offensive line. From the 
shot up. Grosser. He's got a man down the field. It's Austin. 19 yards on the pickup for number 19. And it's a first down. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. He was looking for George Pickens there, and that will lead to a second down. On second down, Russ. He's going to run it. That's a smart play. Second down, don't force it if it's not there. He's able to tuck it, pick up some extra yards, and set up a more manageable third down. Third and five. From the gun, it's Wilson. That is going to be called in. He's got it. George Pickens. Touchdown, Steelers. All week, we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to, in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time. And what a great job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket, let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball. And that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. Boswell adds the extra point, and the Steelers will extend their first quarter lead. It's now 14 to nothing. Boswell now following the touchdown. Back out to kick this one off. Austin Eckler now to return. That'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The commander's offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. The motion man here is McClure. A very nice defensive play there. They'll let you complete passes if they're going to end up like that. It's a completion, but a loss of yard. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. They run over center with Robinson. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. second down it's Daniel and that's gonna wind up incomplete Luke McCaffrey the intended receiver and third down coming up timing and trust critical elements of this quick passing game if your target and the quarterback are not on the same page it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down on third down they'll throw with Daniel Complete. 11 yards on the connection there. First down, Washington. 
These third down conversions are just so important. Mike, everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. The tight end, Ertz, in motion. On the handoff, it's Robinson. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll come up now for second down and four. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. Here's a third down and four. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. He's going to keep it himself. And Daniels will slide to a stop. Wise move as a young quarterback. That's how you stay around and become a vet. He picked up the first down. A gain of 16. Good enough for a first down. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll go play action here with Daniel. Inside the 10, it is caught. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. And we got a stoppage for an injury. Oh, that is T.J. Watt, who is in some discomfort. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. They'll run with Robinson. A dive, and he's in. Brian Robinson. Touchdown, Washington. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground from the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Cyber's extra point is true. And the commanders are on the board. It's now 14 to seven. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. From the six, here comes a return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Steelers offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. And he has been sensational in this opening quarter. You have to imagine we're going to see much more of him as this game goes on. This drive begins with a run by Harris. And the D closes quickly. He stopped after a gain of a yard. 
it was Jeremy Chin that time up to make the stop. Here's a second and nine. Wilson. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. It's a gain of 19 in the air. Good for a Steeler first down. In order for this play to be successful against man coverage, Mike, two things need to happen. One, the quarterback has to anticipate the break. He has to get that ball out on time. And then the rest is the receiver creating the separation at the top. And when both are accomplished, you can see what the results are. Play action. Now, Wilson. That's caught downfield by Jefferson. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. We are through one. 14-7 is our score. More after this, you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Down at the 12. It's first and ten. Again, Wilson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back. And I think that last one falls in that category. But... The biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. down here's Wilson here's a screen set up for one and the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up they try to finish off this drive with six points the thing that jumps out to me the most Mike is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression so hats off to the play caller him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes and there is a lot of room to operate from the one-yard line, first down and goal. They go play action now. Look under pressure, and down he goes. They've got him back at the 10. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover, in this case, nothing materializes. Tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Move back to the 10. They'll try here on second and goal. They run it over center with Harris. He's going to get this down to the 10 yard line. A nice drive. This is the ninth play coming up. And they cash it in on third and goal. the length 
of the field. And then as they got down here close to the red zone, and that field condenses, they start again sloppy in their execution. Now, what do they do on fourth down? Do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive? Or do they settle for three? Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. Back out is Boswell following the field goal. He'll send this one away. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. They find themselves down 17-7 as this drive starts first and 10. to throw is Daniels. That's taken in. It's Austin Eckler. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. We tend to make NFL offense very complicated, Mike, but sometimes it's as simple as this. Get the ball into the hands of your playmakers and just let them do the rest. They'll work now on second and four. He's got his tight end. There's Oates. And he'll get about five here as he's out of bounds with a first down. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too far, and it draws the flood. Daniels to throw on second down. That's caught by Eckler. And knock him down just shy of the 40. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. First and ten. First carry for the versatile Austin Eckler. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part, coming through again with another big stop for a loss. Throwing on second down, Daniel. Over the middle, he's got McClure. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. And that one just kept getting worse and worse until finally they bring him down. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Here's Tress Way now. 
The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The Steelers' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line, so a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. Trying left side, here's Harris. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. He'll give it to Harris again. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Set to go now on first and ten. No run. This is Jalen Warren. That one is closed down to the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Well, there hasn't been a whole lot for this crowd to be excited about on either side of the ball, but at least now the defense is trying to be that spark. Nice tackle for loss there. Can they do something to build upon to try to get this team going? On the handoff, it's Harris. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now... It's third down. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. Down the field, got him, and he's gone. And he's into the end zone. Van Jefferson, touchdown Pittsburgh. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Boswell now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Steelers up their lead. It's now 24 to 7. Well, now following the touchdown back out to kick this one off here's Eckler on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the commander's offense headed back to take over once more the deficit is 17 so they gotta start cutting into it soon see if it starts here first and 10 
Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. Man in motion is Brown. And the run out of the gun. Here comes Robinson. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Now a third and two. Now an option here, left side. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. It sets up fourth down. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. Here's their punter now, as he's on to punt for Washington. Here's Austin to return. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Steelers offense and Russell Wilson set to take over once more. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Here's first and ten. On the give, it's Harris. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. That one good for a dozen and a very quick first down. Now Russ into the hands of Pickens. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's over the middle and taken in by Fryermuth. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Quick throw on target to Pickens. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. Wilson will throw again. Into the hands of Pickens once again. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10-yard line. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. At the very least, got to come away with some points. It's a really good job defensively. The key is you don't want your defensive linemen to overcommit to rushing the passer, and you don't want your linebackers in secondary dropping too deep defending the pass. In this case, all three levels played discipline, good football with good vision, 
And that's why they're able to stop him for no gain. They'll go again here from the 10 yard line. Second down and goal. Throwing again, Wilson. To the goal line and in. George Pickens. Touchdown Steelers. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. You know, he spent so much time talking about the heroics of a game-winning drive to end the fourth quarter in two-minute mode. But let's talk about a two-minute mode, Mike, at the end of the first half. It might not be in walk-off fashion, but I'll tell you what, executing that here, going into halftime, changes this entire game. On for the extra point is Boswell. His kick is good. And the Steelers add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. Three seconds, all that remain in this first half as that one's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Here's Daniels. He's going to look for the home run ball. That is caught. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We got a fine first half out of the former Alabama man, Najee Harris. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. Now an opening past the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The commander's offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10. quickly and it's caught he's taken down but just shy of midfield you see the first out pick up there by luke mccaffrey and certainly a name a lot of nfl fans are going to recognize obviously the son of ed mccaffrey the brother of christian and his ability to really work in traffic make difficult contested catches he's going to have to earn some of these opportunities he had 11 games with at least one receiving touchdown that led all college football last year at rice I think this is a young player that's going to surprise a lot of people and maybe surpass some expectations some of the folks on the outside maybe have placed on him. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. On the throw, on the move, is caught. A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. He's got his team a first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. 
Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. A gift, and here comes Robinson. And the struggles in the running game continue. They take him down behind the line. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Ben in motion is Brown. They'll go again with Robinson. He'll be taken down about the 33-yard line. There to make the stop, the All-Pro T.J. Watt. Got to get this to the 25. Here's third down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. That's deep for the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. If you're going to give your guy a chance for a jump ball in the end zone, you better make sure you put that ball in the right spot. That seemed to me like the defender had a better chance at it than the receiver did. Cyber's kick is good. And the Commanders will cut into that lead. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. So here's Cyber. Made the field goal a moment ago, and now we'll kick this one away. Patterson now to return it. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. On first down, right back to Harris. And he'll get this to about the 36-yard line. It was Jeremy Chin that time up to make the stop. Here's second and nine. the gun it's Wilson he let this go deep for Jefferson he'll be hit as he throws this time and it's gonna fall incomplete he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack and it'll set up a third down I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second half pressure getting to him but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback and don't let this lead fool you Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense... And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver. And down he goes. Outside of a 
turnover, this was probably the worst case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. So the Steelers ready to kick this one skyward. He'll punt for the second time after hitting a beauty in his first effort. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The home team's offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll start out first down and 10. drive will begin here with a run by Robinson and he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards here's second and six off the play fake here's Daniels in trouble down he goes if there's any silver lining for this drive Mike it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down so I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole but that's the third sack of the game and this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down so backed up after the sack and now it's third and long Throwing is Daniel. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. A fair catch taken here, and it's going to come right at the 15-yard line. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we've got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Here's Wilton. That's caught by the tight end, Darnell Washington. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. A give, and here comes Harris. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. Another run here with Harris. Has an opening past the 40. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. And now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. 
couple of first downs has them out to the 45 yard line as it's first and 10. On the ground, this is Warren. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. That's to the left side and taken in by Jefferson. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. He'll come up to third and three. Here's Wilson to throw. And that is incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Steelers getting ready to put this one away. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The home team's offense ready to get back at it. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Now Daniels throwing on first and 10. Second down and three. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. Out of the gun, they give it to Eckler. And a strong first down run, a pickup of Knott, setting up second and short. Daniels. Nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. Both sides now going back and forth, trading blows. After a nice pickup and a handful of yards, the defense responds with a big sack. Now brings up third and medium, and let's see if they decide to go back on the ground or keep it in the air. Third down and nine. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The visitors offense and their running back 
getting ready to go back to work. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the top of the conversation in that locker room at halftime. they got to find a way to slow him down. Nothing they've done has worked so far. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Back to throw. Wilson. Got a man over the middle. It's Pickens. And he'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. Give up the middle to Harris. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Johnny Newton, rookie out of Illinois, there to bring him down. Second down and eight. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. He finds Austin with the grab. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. On the ground, this is Harris. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. They'll come up on a second down and eight. A run with Harris. Well, that looks like a pretty clear hold. The gain was five, but let's check the call. They send Fryermuth, the tight end, in motion. A run. Here's Harris. And the defense over this one they knock them down it'll go down as a loss of two anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed you know that play's not going anywhere that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started on uh, third down here's Harris So it's fourth down. They'll call on the punt team. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Throwing now, Daniel. Now they'll set up the screen to Eckler. Nice game here. He's going to be marked down at the 35-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? 
That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he just does get that one away. He was being chased down, forced the awkward throw. Maybe he's fortunate that all it is is an incompletion. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. And that is incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete. But if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. The Steelers' offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. Dan Quinn wants a second opinion here, and he has thrown the challenge flag. What they're looking at here is the spot of the football. Always tricky to get this exactly right, but it only takes a few inches to make a big impact. So slow this down, find a landmark on the field, and determine where the spot should be. So the challenge doesn't change the official's decision. They're going to keep the spot right where it was. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now it's Harris. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. They'll give it to Harris again. Finding room to the 20. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. They're going to run out of the gun, and here's Harris. And this time, they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game at carry. It's second down. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. I think this defense is wondering where some of these missed throws were earlier in the game. I mean, for a while, it seemed like everything the offense did hit. And after that last incomplete pass, although this game's all but over, this defense will certainly take it. Shotgun snap, and they give it to Harris. And that's good. Run support on the edge. Nice tackle out wide. It'll hold them to a gain of two.
Here comes Chris Boswell to try a field goal. This from extra point range, a 33-yard field goal attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Steelers add on to their lead. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. Back out is Boswell following the field goal. He'll send this one away. Returning is Igbenogany. Oh, he's got room past the 30. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The commander's offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll begin with first and 10. Daniels now going to look to throw. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. I like the call. Using the screen as a drive starter to pick up a chunk play and get this offense into some rhythm. It's clear this offensive play caller anticipated the rush of the defense and he was able to use it against them. To throw is Daniels on first and ten. They'll come up now for second down and four. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. I might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield. But now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. Touchdown here in the fourth quarter, Greg. They have a big mountain to climb, but at least they're technically still alive in this one. And now, Mike, we're going to see them line up to go for two. They're going to see if they can get this lead down to 16 points and still give them a chance to fight back here late in the fourth quarter. Now, a two-point conversion attempt coming. On play action, Daniels. That is caught, and they get the two-point conversion. Everything's about matchups, especially down here this close to the goal line. I think my guy's better than your guy. I'm going to put him in a position to have success, throw it up to him, and let him do the rest. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. Patterson now to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The visitors offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Oh, 
This drive begins with a run by Harris. And he'll get about five past the 30-yard line. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They go play action now. Wilson, there's that man again. Another catch. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. On second down, a run with Harris. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Russ. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. A little surprising here, Mike. They continue to throw the ball with this type of lead here in the fourth quarter. But with the day they've had, I don't know if I could really blame them. I mean, with the amount of man coverage that they're seeing, right now, the quarterback's just saying, what's my best matchup? Who do I love to gain separation? And just throw them the ball. And for the most part of the game, it's continued to work. First down, it's Harris. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. take us to the two-minute warning. You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. They'll drop to throw. That one taken in. Van Jefferson. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Boswell now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Steelers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Boswell now following the touchdown. Back out to kick this one off. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The commander's offense about ready to take over once more. They'll start it here with a first and ten.
from the shotgun. It's Daniel. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. Here's a second and six. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. Over the middle, he's got McClure. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs, they clog up the back end, and at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. Time out here by Washington. That is their second as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Set to go now on first and ten. Throwing again, Daniel. McClure open on the left side. And he'll be taken down. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play gets them down close. And now it's first and goal. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too long, too late. They do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. The offense staying put. They will go for two. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. That's going to be incomplete. That would have been a tough grab. The collision jarred it loose. The try for two is unsuccessful. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. He fields it at the eight. George Pickens and the Steelers offense heading back onto the field. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early. Boy, did that pay great dividends to this point. Victory formation, defense powerless to stop. And that 
should just about do it. So this one, a win for the visiting Steelers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That was the difference in this one.